Hi, this is Nathan with The Verge, and we're here with Mark at uh, Nikon, and he's going to demonstrate some uh, D4 functionality where you can uh, sync the camera with your computer uh, over a network, uh, no cables required, and you can do some live view, you can shoot photos and focus. He's going to demo everything for us right now, so Mark, please take it away. Sure. Uh, I'm showing you how you can connect to the camera. We're using a D4 with a Ethernet connector, which is built into the camera allows us to do a number of things, everything from FTP to direct connecting and what's called an HTTP mode. Basically, the camera has a built-in web server, which allows you to basically browse the camera. If I, if I, I actually have, the best thing about the Nikons is that they're very customizable, so in the case of this, I can press my function button and bring up the network settings, which shows the IP the camera is feeding me over the network, over Ethernet in this case. This also works the same over the W25 when connected to the camera and working with an access point. So I come into the computer here and I type in the IP and I can tell the camera to serve up a username password. In this case, I'm going to put in the username password and then it serves up a web page. The web page is basically, uh, if you're familiar with Camera Control Pro, which allows you to uh, control the camera over a specific software over USB. Now we can do that over Ethernet and do it with a web browser. So I'm browsing the camera's card. We're not feeding the images into the computer. These are the thumbnails fed to the camera, uh, fed from the camera to the computer. So I can view my thumbnails and a number of arrangements. I have where I, we can look at the pictures we took earlier here at CES. I have a film strip move, mode where I can actually um, feed up my pictures. I can look at the individual photos as a large preview as well, and this is really good for people who want to uh, do a kind of a live shoot, for example. So I'm going to come back to the thumbnail view. Another cool feature is if I go back into the, uh, the browser here, I have uh, the shooting viewer mode. I go to shooter viewer mode. Now I get fed the camera's information that's being uh, in the camera's display now is also fed here. Everything from a, uh, my controls, from my exposure, shutter priority, aperture priority, the program is here. And I can change my focus points on the fly. I can change my mode to AFS. I can change if I want to shoot in the DX mode or any of the other prop modes, I can do that. Uh, I can go into Live View, which I can then see what the camera sees over the Ethernet. Uh, if you have a fast network, this is great because the camera could be any number of places, or if you're in a large studio, you don't have to be at the limits of USB, which is a shorter cable than Ethernet. Uh, I can not only take a picture in Live View, but if I put the camera in the movie mode, when the camera flips over to the movie mode, now I'm into, I get the 16 by 9 crop factor, and I can now have all my video and movie modes as well, including a record. Once I start record, you'll notice I get a record light there. I have a green light on the camera indicating that it's got some activity writing to the card. And once I stop recording, it stops the camera remotely and then I have a movie. So, a lot of great things that you can do. Uh, it's very exciting and, and, and the, to a lot of degree, easier to use. So, uh, that's a demonstration of the network camera syncing for the D4. And I believe this technology will be coming to the iPad and the iPhone as well. You don't need an app to do that. You can just uh, go to your web browser, put in the IP address, and do this through your iPhone or iPad. So, I'm Nathan with The Verge. This is Mark from Nikon, and this is the D4.